Hey there, Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Wednesday, March 22nd. Uh, yesterday was the Aries new moon. The day before that, we had the spring equinox. So we're uh, we're launching spring here as we speak. And we've got this energy of Aries, the moon making its way through the sign of Aries. And so today I thought we would address the question of why is Aries the sign of the warrior? Um <clears throat> Aries is, uh, in many ways, the beginning of the zodiac, although, as you can see, everything is a cycle, and we go from, uh, well, we go, it goes around, right? <laughs> we go around, we come back, who know, who's to say, really, where, where the beginning is, where the ending is, everything is a beginning, everything is an ending. Um, but in so many ways, Aries is like that energy of new life. So think of baby energy, right? And just like the audacity that babies have to be alive, right? To um, to defy the odds and come into the world and declare that they are here and to demand that their needs be met, which of course babies have to do in order to survive. So, um, and, and, you know, we love them and they're uh, just wonderful and so full of potential and, so think about that, right? Think about when we don't know yet fully what we're becoming. We can't, you can't see necessarily in a baby where what they're going to grow into, what they're going to become, what that all, you know, what the um, events and situations and, and developments and evolutions of their life are going to look like. And it's the same with you. So thinking of yourself as new with the Aries energy, um, there is an energy of unself-consciousness with Aries. It is uh, it is direct. It is spontaneous. It is um, action oriented. So um, many uh, women that I know who have an Aries moon, right? They they feel like they just always stick their foot in it because they're direct. They don't hold back. It's not in their nature. It is it is uh, in the nature of anyone with an Aries moon to to be just. Uh, speaking up and saying what you think without censoring yourself. And especially for women in our society, in our culture, um, sometimes we get flack for that. So uh, so if you are or know or love an Aries moon woman, uh, maybe you can relate. Uh, and and it's, it's really like for us to stand in who we are and um, be ourselves, right? We deserve to be ourselves. It's like who else are we going to be? <laughs> we can't. It's, it's going to be the best choice to be yourself because there aren't really any other good options. So, okay. So why is Aries the sign of the warrior? It is uh, the sign that the sun is in during springtime. So when things are growing, when things are emerging, specifically when the seeds are sprouting and they might be um, unfolding under the soil, right? Through the winter, they're hibernating and doing things that we can't really see. But once they, it's when we see the little sprouts coming out through the soil, that is the energy of Aries. It is that will to be. And the, um, the energy of the warrior is that energy of, I'm not going to think, I'm going to do what I need to do. And that is, so it's a part of ourselves. Uh, we have, we all have that warrior self in, in ourselves. We all have Aries somewhere, whether you have planets in Aries or not, Aries is in your chart somewhere and you have the moon going through it right now. <laughs> so, um, and, and, uh, when planets go through signs, we all feel it. And it's going through uh, that sign in your chart somewhere. So as we experience the moon transiting through Aries, we get that urge to act spontaneously and directly. We get the urge to move, to take a risk, to do something without thinking it through. Um, and so ultimately, to make the most of that energy, we would have a purpose. Um, so a warrior 
doesn't just go around willy nilly like doing things. They they have right ideally, um, ideally they have a reason. They have a principle, a purpose, a, a, a something that they value that they are fighting for. And so we need to think about what we value, what's important to us, why we want to take action. And then Aries can help us get clarity because it helps us do something about it. So a lot of times if if we, you know, if we stayed in the Pisces energy forever, it would be like blissful and glorious and like, oh, we're, you know, we're connected to spirit and it's all wonderful and great and groovy. And then, uh, but, but without that energy, we got to go to Aries next, right? Without that energy of going into Aries, we don't have the ability to take action from that place. And taking action means being alive. It means, it means being human and taking up space and doing what we need to do. It means being a defender, a protector, an advocate for things we believe in, things that are meaningful to us, things that are important. Um, so this is the time also, so it, it's the time to think about, um, who you are and what's important to you, but it's also the time to give yourself the gift of being born anew and stepping into new ways of being new identities, uh, you know, something you've always wanted, something you've been working on, <clears throat> something you're ready for, whether you feel ready or not, right? Yesterday, we were talking about do it, whether you feel ready or not, you don't have to be perfect. Um, and yesterday's video, by the way, had some really good tips about working with the Aries moon. So check that out. Um, but also this Aries warrior energy means uh, having courage. Courage means heart, right? It means having the courage to be yourself and to act from that place. So uh, so that is why uh, Aries is the energy of the warrior. It's about being alive. It's about, um, it's about uh, emerging into the world and, and not being lost in the dream or the blissfulness of Pisces, but actually moving and acting on the things that have meaning uh, to your life through embodiment, right? Through um, being in the world. Um, Mar uh, Aries is ruled by the planet Mars. Mars is about how we take action. It is about uh, the way that we go about getting the things we want. So you can't just sit here and, and wish and hope for it forever, <laughs> You have to uh, go, you know, make a phone call or take some steps or go in the direction where it dwells or whatever. So, um, so do something, take action, move on it, be decisive. Even if you take the wrong path or make the wrong decision, that decisiveness will teach you something and you can course correct later, right? You can, um, you know, uh, you can make new choices in the moment wherever you find yourself. So there is there is um, some value and benefit to moving forward, even if you aren't completely sure where it is you're going or what you're doing, because in many ways, that is the way you find out. So that is why an Aries is the energy of the warrior and how to access that warrior part of yourself. It is but one part of the zodiac, one of the 12 signs. And so it is only one of these different kinds of energies that we need to express and manifest to be our true selves. But it is an important one and it is where the moon is now. And it is the moon cycle that we were in, that we are in right now that began yesterday with the Aries new moon. So this whole moon cycle is going to be about action, discovery, moving, risk-taking, courage, will, um, and being proactive, direct, spontaneous, alive, all those things. And then we actually have two Aries moon cycles in a row because the next new moon will also be in Aries. So with a solar eclipse. So that is um, lots of energy, uh, Aries energy to look forward to. And, and so today's uh, deeper dive into the energy of Aries and what it means maybe gives you some context and some background to, for your own process of self-discovery. 
Thank you so much for being here. I am Marina Orms. You can learn more about me at Astrology Heals. Dot com. I have been uh, sharing some momentous changes this week in recent videos. Check them out if you've missed any, especially Sunday. I went in uh, deeper into all the changes that are happening this week. I am offering currently a special um, on a package of sessions working with me in depth. So $500 for five sessions is a great uh, is, is a great a way to save money and work with me in depth if that is something that you feel called to. And we can look at your chart and how all of this applies to you and your life and the particulars of the issues you are dealing with and how to be most effective in working with those. So I will include the link to that special offer in the description for this video and in the comments. And you can also find it at astrologyheals.com. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. And thank you for all that you do to take care of yourself so you can show up for to be the person the world needs you to be and you need you to be. All right. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.